All right, this is just a little website walkthrough. The homepage at this moment has some useful information as far as kind of putting together all this code stuff. So at the top here, we just kind of have our little our little summary of how we do this objective typing where we have two different people in two different rooms and we play this little game and we get the same type and nobody really cares, right? And then what we found by collecting all the data is that people have the exact same type and we're, we're typing people out of 512 and not just 16 types, that if they're the exact type out of 512 or even 128, that they end up kind of looking alike and they have the same sexual preferences and you know oftentimes health issues and hair and a whole bunch of interesting genetic stuff, right? And no, we don't do any type of facial reading. Oftentimes we'll type people by audio only. Anyways, uh, we follow some checklist where we're kind of going through these binary coins, all the stuff that we cover on YouTube, all fancy stuff that you don't understand. But this is what we cover in our weekly classes. So a lot of the students know how to now, well, most of the students now at this point know how to read all this kind of stuff uh, and, and kind of unpack somebody's type just one little coin at a time. We're always following a, a binary checklist. Anyways, so the basics of kind of where you're at, just in Dumb Dumb Myers-Briggs land, you know, watching these stupid videos from YouTube, is that you're starting with these four corners of the brain, right? So just very simple. T, F, S, N, you got the deciders, and then you got the observers, you got the frontal lobe, human mind, you got the animal mind in the back, you got the, the, the right side of the brain, the left side of the brain. I mean, a whole bunch of different ways to kind of look at the brain. I know this is oversimplified. I know it's not super scientific, but this is kind of the foundation of the Carl Jung four letters that then turn into the eight functions. And then the functions are just when you're adding an introvert or extrovert charge you then add that introvert extrovert charge and you create the eight functions. So it's pretty simple kind of math, right? So F plus extrovert equals FE. Ta-da, so now you know where the eight functions come from. And then it really just unfolds from there. So then now you got these four letters and now you got these eight functions and they're coins, right? So FE and TI are opposites, TE and FI are opposites, etc. And so there's only 16 combinations that you can align these coins. So from those four letters, those eight functions, you get the 16 combinations which is your big, dumb Myers-Briggs 16 types, right? So, so far, so good. Then from there, you have the new introduction of what we've been kind of hammering away on YouTube is like, oh, hey, by the way, has anybody ever fucking noticed that the human need of gathering is tied to S-E-N-E? -E? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, it kind of is, right? So S-E-N-E -E is just all about gathering in new and then this demon void of I'm not organizing enough or I'm overemphasizing my identity and I'm not paying attention to the tribe all that much or the other way around. So this really helps with the objectivity of am I looking at S-E or N-E? I'm not sure, I don't know. Well, check for the human needs. Is this person gathering over organizing? Then you can get into the nitty gritty of the letters and the functions and all that fun stuff. So the human needs are by far so much easier to see, so much easier to track, and you can kind of get somebody narrowed down on what their human needs are. Tony Robbins talks about the human needs. Then you got to know saviors and demons because everybody does everything, but it's more about what are you respecting. Of course, the S guy can do N and the N guy can do S. It's not about that. People will use their demon functions and they will use them all day long for the support of their savior functions. So you're, you kind of got to find your terms with saviors and demons. That's a little bit tricky. That's what we get into in the classes a little bit more. So now you get these temperaments, you get the IPs, the EJs, then you combine the saviors and now you're doing stuff like the FI and SE, that equals the ISFP. The 16 types are basically just assuming people's top two functions are their savior functions. And that is true, we found for half the population. But once we started doing our objective typing, again, reference up here where we're actually testing ourselves, actually tracking the data, actually seeing if we're getting people the same. We found that to get consistent results, you have to factor in that 50% of the population is actually jumping. So you got your standard Myers-Briggs idiots here in the middle. And then you have these other types that Myers-Briggs is not familiar with, where you'll have a, uh, what is this? An ESFJ who's not controlling. An ESFJ who is gathering. In fact, my mom is this type right here. She's F-E-N-E. -E. Either yourself or half of your friends and family are gonna be these over here. They're going to be double introverted or double extroverted. And then half of your friends and family are going to be kind of a standard Myers-Briggs type of, you know, half introverted, half extroverted. Uh, here's where it gets fun. So we don't talk about this too much on YouTube. We will be kind of adding this in over time. This is what we hammer away in in the classes is that when you now combine savior functions, you get these animals and these animals are the really interesting things to track. So just like the human needs up above are a lot easier to track 
than the functions, the animals are a lot easier to track than the savior functions. So you can find people that are consumers, like, oh my God, consuming. They're constantly taking in, constantly respecting new information, new experiences, new, 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 consume, consume, just like consume is defined by the culture, consumers, right? They have a savior, introverted decider, and extroverted observer. So either they're a IP or an EP of some sort, one of these in here, IP or EP. Or you'll have people that are double introverted. You'll know, think about Elon Musk, very self-preservation. How do I take my known information because I'm low on play, sleep and play are opposite coins, you know, double introvert, double extrovert. How do I preserve my known information? How do I preserve energy? How do I preserve self? These double introverted types, right? And then play is double extroverted. Blast is now kind of your standard IJ or EJ in the Myers-Briggs where they're taking their known information and they want to teach it and blast it, you know, much like I'm doing now. I'm taking my known information and blast it to the tribe, right? Uh, and so then it, from there, it just unfolds more and more. Everybody has, just like the functions, two savior animals, two savior functions. So you may be F-I-N-E, and therefore you're consume sleep, or you're F-I-N-E and you're consume play. And so it's following the same kind of structure that the uh, functions do and stuff. And this continues to unfold. So it goes from 16 to 32 to 64 to 128, etc. And that's what we're able to track and stuff in the classes. Bottom line is the Myers-Briggs 16 types there's actually 32 different versions that we can track. So this guy is an INFJ. You've got your standard Myers-Briggs INFJs over here, which are usually kind of like this, these right here, kind of blast sleep. And then you have super introverted INFJs that are N-I-T-I. And you can pick those guys out because of the human need of self above tribe. So these guys come across kind of like ISTPs because they're prioritizing their identity and their internal decisions first and getting annoyed by the tribe. So they're not your standard Myers-Briggs uh, INFJ, and you probably have met people like this plenty in your life. And then from there, we're also tracking masculine and feminine versions of those too. And that's like way into the classes, so screw you. Then you get the tidal waves, which you're familiar with. This is again, where you're really able to track people is you're not tracking anecdotes. You're not tracking letters and functions and all this stupid surface level shit. You're tracking what is the person's never ending life problems about. Because if they really have these imbalances, if they're really way strong in this and way weak in that, their life will consistently show that. They'll consistently be afraid of the tribe, afraid of themselves, afraid of control, afraid of chaos, afraid of consume, afraid of blast, afraid of sleep. That's what we track and that's what people cannot hide, which is why we can get consistent results. And then in the class, here's just kind of a little snapshot and then we'll go through and watch videos of celebrities and stuff and kind of break down all their types and all that kind of bullshit. For starters, I would recommend if you haven't been to our amazingly awesome sucky ass website, go through that page here as far as connecting the foundations of the letters, the functions, and the human needs. And I would really focus on mastering those. Yes, over time, you can get into saviors and demons and all the amazing different types and which special one are you, but really focusing on the letters, the functions, and especially the human needs.